Based on your review of the, uh, of the evidence and the death certificate, do you agree with Dr. Uh, Baker's determination on the cause of death? Yes, I do. And is that by the word uh, immediate on here? Yes, cardiopulmonary arrest complicating law enforcement subdual restraint and neck compression. Have you, uh, Dr. Thomas, formed an opinion about the mechanism of death? Yes. Uh, would you tell us what that is? In this case, I believe the primary mechanism of death is asphyxia or low oxygen. Can you explain uh, what's referred to, looking here at the terms, uh, subdual restraint and neck compression? Um, those were activities by the law enforcement agency officers involved. Uh, subdual is subduing someone, uh, trying to restrain them is, uh, in Mr. Floyd's case, involved uh, handcuffing him, uh, his positioning on the ground, the prone position, the people kneeling on him. And the neck compression is uh, the knee on the neck specifically. Um, additionally, there was some back and other uh, things being compressed by the officers. So if you put all this together, cardiopulmonary arrest, complicating law enforcement subdual, restraint, and neck compression, what does that mean? Well, what it means to me is that the activities of the law enforcement officers resulted in Mr. Floyd's death. Would you tell us what you reviewed in order to reach this conclusion? Um, all of those things that I mentioned earlier, the, uh, the, again, what's sort of unique about this case is that often um, I would just review the medical examiner case file and that would provide information about what the cause and manner of death is. Um, but in this case, the autopsy itself didn't tell me the cause and manner of death, and it really required getting all of this other additional information, specifically the video evidence of the terminal events, to conclude the cause of death and manner of death. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.